Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCityUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. This is a video request I got for um, The Secret of Monkey Island on the Sega CD. The request was made by a good YouTube friend of mine named PCWizard13. It's not spelled out wizard, it's WZRD. So PCWZRD13, great YouTuber, lots of cool Sega CD stuff. He has a very cool contest going on now as well, so check that out. And uh, here we go, so Secret of Monkey Island on the Sega CD. So this game is uh, one of the most memorable for a lot of people. It's a big uh, cornerstone for their childhood. It was a LucasArts game that came out on numerous systems. Uh, the Amiga, the Atari, the C CDTV, DOS, FM Towns, Mac, Sega CD. Then they made a special edition that they recently put on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. So, when the special edition came out in 2009, I think they updated the graphics and you know gave a little bit of an overhaul. But um, it's it's a LucasArts game. It's primarily a point and, you know it's a point and click title. I think there is some fighting, but to be honest, I've never gotten far enough to where um, I fought anyone, or fought anyone. Um, let's see here, look at poster. <laughs> Is that Bob Marley reference, I guess? So if you like games like Maniac Mansion and, and uh, what, Night of the Living, what is it, Tentacles or something? It'd probably be up your alley, especially because those are LucasArts as well. Or even, I guess, Sam and Max type stuff. Or Grim Fandango. Um, the only thing I, I noticed with this game that bothered me was that the the load times... Oh, actually, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what it says on the screen. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. The only thing I noticed I don't like is the load times on the Sega CD version are a little slow. But it is a 1x drive, so I guess what do you expect, right? Click what you want to do. Open. Door. Lock. And the same kind of idea, um, Willie Beamish on the Sega City is amazing, but the load times are very bad. So, kind of like that. Actually, Willie Beamish might have worse load times. This seems a little quicker. So an option here. Nice music, uh, you know, nice still images. Even the, the graphics themselves are pretty good. It's just you know, it's a it's a slow, methodical game. You have to think things out. Lots of pointing and clicking, obviously. It looks like uh, what's his name, John Rise, Efons or whatever the hell his name is. No, John Rise Davies. John Ry e Rise Efons is the Welsh guy from The Replacements. My mistake. Uh, I hope you can read the text on the screen. It's a little hard for me to read because it's SD, so like the, the words are a little, a little, um, you know, blurry or jaggy. So he told me to go talk to the pirates in the next room about becoming a pirate and joining a crew. 
important looking pirates. Let's talk to them. I swore there was voices in this, but maybe I'm thinking of Willie Beamish with the, with the voices. I didn't realize it was just text. Wanna be a fireman, yeah. It's very dark, the game. It's actually a little brighter on the camera, I think. Do you have any special skills? Also kind of reminds me of Discworld a little bit, because I think that was all audio, and that was on, what, PS1 and the PC, I believe? Sword. They also picked some weird colors for the words. One of the funny things about the game is they, um, the bar, if you notice, when I walked in, it said Scum. Uh, Scum was the name of, I think, one of the... It was an engine they used for Maniac Mansion and and uh, this game and, and a few others. So they... It's like a scripting language. So they, uh, they named the bar after it, which I thought was kind of funny. All right, let's see if I can go outside and find someone or... Talk to this guy again, maybe he'll help me. I think they said outside I have to talk to someone now. Welcome everywhere I go. Meanwhile... Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate of the Chuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava.
so a lot of reading. Uh, like I said, more slow, methodical game. Pretty cool though. I, pl I played it once or twice before. I didn't really have the time to invest, so I didn't get far in it. Just like now. <laughs> walk this way. I guess it's, 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 no, the governor's a woman, right? Is it her? Citizen of Melee. Name's Sven. No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Here we go, let's pick the stupid answer. Hmm. That's funny. He has a lot of you know good humor in these types of games, especially this one. Who's this? Low moral fiber pirates. <laughs> so the video is 13 minutes so far. I mean, I haven't done a ton because it, it is, like I said, a slow game to progress with. But it's cool. I mean, if, if you like point and click adventures, I think it'll be right up your alley. Great music, pretty good graphics on the Sega CD. A little, a little bland, but. These still pictures are especially nice, even though they're not really still because they are moving in some way. But um, that's been it. I'm, I'm sorry, PC Wizard 13, that I didn't give you a, a ton of time on this, but you know, hopefully you just saw a couple minutes of it and it brings back some good memories. So guys, thanks for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com signing out. Be good.